We'll provide information related to the murder we of Bishop David We are following O'Connell. breaking news in the deadly the shooting of Archdiocese of Los Angeles Mayor Auxiliary Mayor Bishop Mayor David O'Connell, Mayor L.A. County Sheriff Mayor Robert Luna, Mayor live in downtown Mayor L.A., Mayor updating Mayor us Mayor on Mayor a suspect. Great man, great president, probably under underappreciated by those who don't know much about him. He is one hard worker. He's the first one on the site in the morning and very often. Robert Luna. Uh, thank you all for uh, being with us here today, and uh, thank you for your patience. I know we had to change the, the time uh, once today, but you'll find as I'm relaying this story to you why we wanted to wait a couple of additional hours to provide you the best information uh, that we possibly could. Um, and, and before I start with my comments, um, uh, I know many of you in the room uh, you usually have outstanding questions, and um, I, I will do everything I can to possibly answer every question that you have, although um, our priority before 8 a.m. this morning was to apprehend this suspect, and we did uh, by some amazing detective work. Our next priority is to get him prosecuted. Uh, and there will be information that we simply cannot talk about at this time, but will come out uh, as we take uh, the detectives take this man to court and try and get him filed on. So let me back up here. On Saturday, February 18th, at approximately 1 p.m., the industry sheriff's station deputies responded to a person not breathing rescue call in the 1500 block, block of Janlu Avenue in the city of Hacienda Heights. Deputies and paramedics arrived at the residence and a male was pronounced dece deceased at that scene at that time. While at the location, it was discovered that the male was Auxiliary Bishop David O'Connell. Bishop O'Connell sustained at least one gunshot wound to the upper body while in the bedroom of his residence. At the time, the cause of death was unclear to our detectives, but appeared suspicious in nature. A firearm was not recovered at the scene, and there was no forced entry into the bishop's residence. Homicide investigators were called and responded to the scene. Upon arrival, they reviewed evidence, co conducted interviews, and canvass the neighborhood for surveillance video footage. Early Sunday morning, investigators from the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office uh, arrived on scene and began their investigation alongside the detectives from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, at which time it was determined that Bishop O'Connell's, this incident was a murder. It was now a murder investigation. Later that morning, detectives discovered surveillance footage that showed a vehicle that had pulled into the bishop's driveway, stayed for a short time, and left the location. The vehicle was described as a dark-colored, dark compact SUV. Sunday evening at approximately 7 p.m., detectives received a tip that there was a person of interest who resided in the city of Torrance. The person of interest was identified as Carlos Medina, a 65-year-old male Hispanic. Detectives were told by the tipster that they were concerned because Medina was acting strange, irrational, and made comments about the bishop owing him money. Medina is the husband of Bishop O'Donnell, or oh, I'm sorry, Medina is the husband of Bishop O'Connell's housekeeper, who, was who has previously done work at the bishop's residence and drove a similar SUV to the one previously seen in the driveway of the bishop's residence. So just to confirm, um, this is the husband of the bishop's housekeeper, and the suspect had previously done work around the bishop's residence. Detectives learned Medina's residence in the 
2400 block of Kenwood Avenue in the city of Torrance. A tipster told detectives Medina had left Los Angeles County and was believed to be in the Central California area. Detectives authored a warrant for Medina's arrest and a search warrant for his residence. Homicide investigators served a warrant with the assistance of our major crimes bureau detectives. At approximately 2 a.m. this morning, we were alerted by a community member that Medina had returned to his residence. Carson Sheriff Station deputies, along with our major crime bureau detectives, contained the location and conducted callouts for Medina to surrender, but he refused. He refused to come out of his residence. The original search warrant for his residence was amended by detectives, which enabled our Special Enforcement Bureau to enter the location to arrest Medina and search his home. This morning, our Special Enforcement Bureau personnel arrived on scene and took over the tactical operation. Additional callouts were made to Medina to surrender, and at approximately 8.15 this morning, Medina exited his residence and was taken into custody without further incident. As a result of the second search warrant, detectives recovered two firearms and other evidence possibly linking Medina to the crime. The firearms will need to be examined and tested by our crime lab to determine if either of those firearms were used in the murder. As I have previously stated, um, my heart uh, grieves. Um, although I personally did not know the bishop, uh, I cannot tell you how many phone calls I've received over the last 48 hours of people who have worked with him in different capacities. And uh, this man, this bishop, made a huge difference in our community. He was loved, and uh, and it's and it's very sad that we're gathered here today uh, to talk about his murder in this way. Um, he's been a pillar in our community, known as a peacemaker, a passion a passion for serving those in need, and and you'll hear more about that as uh, other uh, partners of mine that are here beside me will get up and talk. Uh, I do want to spend a couple of minutes here. Uh, because I don't want this to be overshadowed. Um, as tragic as it is to be talking about the murder of Bishop O'Connell, um, our detectives for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, our homicide detectives, our major crimes uh, detectives, and everyone else involved did an amazing job if you look at the way I laid this story out, it was nonstop work. Uh, there's uh, people around me who haven't slept, um, and I really applaud them for their uh, professionalism. Uh, and, and I got to tell you, I, I couldn't be more proud of them as I'm reporting their good work uh, to all of you uh, today. But as I stated earlier, um, it, I. I we wanted to wait a little bit more to give you as much detailed information as we could, but there is information that unfortunately uh, we will not give out in detail at this time because the next step is to present all of the evidence that we have gathered and try to get a criminal prosecution on Medina. So I just wanna make sure um, uh, that's known. Uh, keeping uh, the integrity of this investigation is a priority. And uh, like I said, we'll, uh, I'm going to open it up to questions here after all of my partners speak, but um, we'll be very disciplined about what we can answer or not. Um, there's also another factor. I talked about the, the excellent work by our homicide detectives. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't think I'd be standing in front of you uh, within 48 hours of this crime if it wasn't for the members of our community who came forward and helped us along the way and gave us tips 
uh, when we talk about the fact that we're more effective as a department reducing crime in partnership with the community, uh, this is a perfect example. Uh, we had people from different locations that gave us uh, information that helped us solve this crime, and uh, they will continue to do so. But at the same time, I urge anybody that has more information uh, about anything they may know uh, about uh, Medina, any of his activities, to please come forward. Uh, and, and as other uh, speakers talk about uh, Bishop, the Bishop, uh, you'll, you'll see why we need to do this as a community uh, to move forward with uh, his uh, legacy.